In the last class, we looked at the famous topic, long division. Now we want to look at short division. So I lined up two questions here, which are the same questions. One of, one of them has it set up in a long division technique, and one of them has it set up in a short division technique, where they usually write it like this. And let's try both and see what happens, right? Remember the acronym, the four letters from long division, DMSB. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring it down, do it all back, divide, multiply, DMSB, DMSB, DMSB. Um, so let's see if we can DMSB down this 837. 3 into 8 is 2 by 3 is 6, subtract. Now get 2, bring it down, 23. 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, Bring down the 7. 3 can go into 27. 9 times 9 trees are 27. When I subtract, I get 0. Is that what you got? Did you pause the video and try it for yourself? You should. Uh, let's see what happens in short division. And see if you can borrow some of the ideas from long division. Now, short division. I love short division even more than long division because it's short. <laughs> 3 into 8 is 2. So I put the 2 here, but short division, you have to keep a lot of stuff in your mind. Because I, I'm going to say 3 into 8 is 2, and I need to see the remainder myself. So I need to see the remainder somewhere up there. When I say 3 into 8, I get 2. Remainder 2. 3 into 8 is 2. Remainder 2. So the remainder is floating up there. So you know what? I'm going to take that 2 and put it over here instead. And now I'll be 3 into 23 is 7 remainder two again remainder two again because three by 27 is, three by seven is 21 there's the same remainder two so i'm going to put that remainder here are you catching the pattern and now three can go into 27 nine times that's short division so how are you feeling about short division maybe we can try some more five into 48 i'm ignoring this four because five can go into four Leaving, giving a whole number. 5 into 48 is 9 because 9 fives are 45. But what's your remainder? I'm, I'm seeing the 45. I'm seeing the 48. I'm doing that subtraction in my mind and I got 3. Did you get that as well? I'll put it 3 there. 5 into 32 is hmm, 6. Yeah, because 5 6 is a 30. But there's a remainder of 2. Now, as I said, when we reach here, there are two things we can do. You can put the decimal point and put the remainder here and keep going. And we get 5 into 20 is 4. So 96.4 is the answer. Or we can say it's 96 remainder 2. Or we can say it's 96 and 2 fifths as a mixed number. For now, let's use one of these two. We'll come to decimals later on. So 3 into 6 is, I'm doing the next question. 3 into 6 is 2. 3 into 0 is nothing, so let's just put a little nothingness there. In other words, this is like 3 into 60, which is 20. And then I'll say 3 into 7 is 2 again. We mean that 1 this time. And 3 into 12 is 4. Beautiful. A beautiful work of art, this short division. Sometimes your skills in division are also tested when it's time to reduce fractions. Let me show you. So if you saw this, that's an improper fraction because the numerator is bigger. If you saw this, 220 divided by 25, before you divide, you may want to reduce. And what you need to do is look for a common factor. We learn more about common factors and highest common factors later on. But for now, I am sure that 5 can go into both of these numbers. Are you also sure that 5 can go into both of these numbers? 5 can go into 25 5 times, and 5 into 22. Watch how I'm doing this carefully. I'm going to say 5 into 2 cannot happen. So 5 into 22, I'm doing a short division technique. Watch closely. 5 into 22 is how much? 4 remainder 2. And 5 into 20 is 4. 5 into 20 is 4. So 44 over 5 is my answer. And from this, I can leave it like this, an improper fraction. Or I can go on to divide and get my decimals and other things that I need to do. 
Do you understand the principle in reducing? Do you see how this can save you some time in exams? Let's try to reduce this proper fraction. The fraction is 12 over 30. What is a factor that can go into both 12 and 30? Pause the video and see which number you think I'm going to pick. I can pick 2. I can even pick 3. But I think the best number to pick is 6. Because 6 can go into 12 2 times. And 6 can go into 30 5 times. The answer is 2 fifths. 12 over 30 is the same as 2 fifths. That's all for now. I hope that we can see you in some of the live sessions. Until then. Next class.